All right, you guys, I'm gonna try my best to fit this nine foot rod in frame in this little crowded office. I'm gonna give it a go and do my best. We'll see how it turns out. What was I thinking? All right, what's up you guys? This video is long overdue. This is something I said that I was gonna put out a couple months ago. But if you've watched any of my recent videos, especially the last video I uploaded last week, then you know that it's been a rough year for me so far. Most recently, I got rear-ended the same day I was filming a video trying to explain that I lost all of my data. My external hard drive crashed. Hard lesson I had to learn. Won't make that mistake again but I had all of my footage, all of my data, even personal stuff, one external hard drive, and it wasn't that old, it was relatively new, it wasn't even half full, but I guess now I know these things are prone to happen and they're pretty common. Hard drive crashed, still waiting to hear back from the company I sent that into, really hoping they can salvage the data, but I gotta just keep trucking along, move forward, stay positive, and do my best to get out some content for you guys. So, a couple months ago with my Musky Fishing on a Budget series, I had told you guys that I was going to show you a musky rod and reel combo setup at an affordable price. Now, before I get into the setup that I'm going to show you, the one that I currently use, just a few disclaimers. Number one, this is a setup that is very affordable. It's a great rod and reel combo. However, there are a lot of options out there, so I don't want you guys to think I'm saying you have to get this specific one. If you're new to the musky game and or if you're just looking to get a new setup at a great price, Start here, use this video, it's just a point of reference. I'm trying to give you an example of what's out there, but if you shop around, if you shop hard, and if you're patient, you'll find a lot of options at good prices. The second thing I will say, the second disclaimer is this. There, there's often a lot of back and forth debate on spending way too much money on musky gear versus going way too cheap. And I will say this, Although for me personally, I am clearly on a budget. That's why I started doing this series. I think there are a lot of anglers out there like me. They want a musky fish. They have the passion. They want to get into it. They want to get more serious about it. But sometimes they're discouraged by the prices of the equipment, the lures. And obviously, if you're looking to get a boat, I don't even really want to talk about that. But boat prices are skyrocketing as well. So I started doing this series to show you, hey, you can still enjoy this sport of musky fishing and you can do it on a budget. And that's why I'm at, that's the boat I'm in. However, the one thing I want to say, this second disclaimer is this, there is some truth to not going too cheap. Okay. So the comparison I would give you, and this is something I'm going to cover a little bit in this video is musky fishing reels. Now, some guys will say you got to get the $500 reel, the 400 plus dollar reel, you know, bare minimum. That's what you got to get. That's what you need. I've heard guys say all the time, if you're serious about musky fishing, then you got to get this 400 to $500 reel. Don't, don't waste time messing around. Now those reels often are high quality, durable. They'll last long. They'll do well. You'll like the way they feel. They'll catch you fish. Nothing against those high end expensive reels, but there are a lot of guys out there like myself that legitimately cannot afford to buy two or three $500 reels. It's just not possible. It's not in our budget. And that's not because with my situation, for example, it's not because I'm bad with money, it's because I'm on a budget and the the amount of money I have allotted for muskies and musky fishing, more specifically in my gear, it does not allow me to be careless and to just go and spend like crazy on whatever I want. So, although there are guys that say you have to have the four to $500 musky reel, those guys will also tell you if you go too cheap, you're gonna get what you buy, you're gonna get what you pay for and you're gonna regret it. And there is some truth in that. So if you're comparing a $500 reel to a $300 reel, that for me is where I'm like, okay, I'm clearly going to get the $300 reel because it's almost half the price and that's still a quality high-end reel. It will get the job done. But if you're comparing a $300 reel to a $100 reel, that's where you start flirting with this problem of going too cheap. Because in the long run, you get a $100 reel, it might last you a season or two and start breaking down. One well, a five year period, you might buy two or three reels adding up to three to $400 when you could have just got the one quality reel at 300 initially. And that reel, if you take care of it, should last you five years or more, okay? I know I just threw a lot at you, but it's just something to think about. I'm not saying you have to get the expensive ones. I'm not saying that those are the only reels to get and they're the best ones out there. I think that's one extreme, but I'm also not saying the other extreme of going ultra cheap because I do think in the long run, you will probably end up regretting that decision. So those are my disclaimers, okay? You don't have to get exactly what I'm showing you in this video, and I'm not telling you to go ultra cheap 
because you might in fact regret it, okay? It's taken me almost five minutes to explain this. So all the musky guys out there that are gonna be drama queens and get butt hurt and flip out about what I've just said, I don't really care. I did my best to explain my position. I'm moving forward. So now that I've offended half the guys watching this and they're no longer here, let's get into this video, musky fishing on a budget, trying to find an affordable rod and reel combo if you want to get a great musky set up at a good price. Now, let's say you are either new to the sport, this video will be very helpful for you or someone else you know that is new to the sport, or you just wanna add another musky rod and reel combo to your arsenal, but you're kinda of tight on money. So this video is great for either category, new to the sport or you just wanna get another rod and reel combo at a good price, you can do it, you guys, if you shop hard and more specifically, if you know exactly what you want and why you need it, the type of fishing you're going to be doing most of the time, you will be able to narrow down to the type of rod and reel combo you want to get and hopefully at a good price. The other thing I will add real quick before I show you exactly what I have here and how much it costs is how much time are you spending on the water casting for muskies? This is a great question that any muskie angler, whether you're new to the sport or not, whether or not you're gonna be fishing 10 days on the year or if you're gonna be fishing 200 days on the year. You need to figure out how much wear and tear am I gonna put on this setup? How much pounding is it gonna take? What does it need to be able to take? You'll hear guys knock certain reels. They'll knock certain rod types. You'll hear positives and negatives about almost every rod and reel on the market. Why is that? Because one guy might be fishing 200 days on the year and it broke down and failed on him. Doesn't really surprise me he's fishing the crap out of that rod and reel. Other guys might say, I love that rod and reel. I've never had a problem. It's my favorite one. And maybe they only fish 15 to 20 days out of the year, okay? So you have to be realistic. You have to use common sense and logic. You have to use basic math and ask yourself, how much do I fish and what do I need this rod and reel combo to accomplish? What do I need it to do? Which leads into choosing, if you're gonna get one setup at a good price, choosing what you're going to get rod type and length, and your reel as well, okay? So you need to figure out what type of fishing do I like to do? What type of fishing am I doing most of the time? What type of lures do I like to throw? Do I wanna be, do I wanna be versatile? Or do I want this rod for a very specific purpose, a very specific lure presentation? How much time, again, am I gonna put on, how many hours am I gonna put on this rod and reel combo? All of that, you guys, you should think this through before you go and purchase a musky rod and reel setup. And honestly, even if you're not using this video because you're on a budget and because you need to find a cheap setup, even still, I would still give that information. I would still say that and share that with any musky guy. Think about these things before you make the purchase. You'll be able to narrow down to exactly what you need and hopefully at the best price you can find. So with that in mind, I'm gonna show you what I have, but I'm gonna make a recommendation of what I think you should get if you're new to the sport and you just want one rod and reel combo, one setup to basically do it all, okay? My daughter's trying to get in. <sighs> I, got about, I got about halfway through this video. I'm sorry, you guys, I just can't say no to this little stinker. Say hi, guys. Hi, guys. It's Willow again, she's in her onesie, she's not even really dressed. I apologize. I'm gonna have to just make sure no one's offended by seeing a little two-year-old in her onesie. And her chubby little legs. <laughs> are you chubby, are you chubby? Mm -hmm. I gotta make a video, okay? So you're just gonna stay here, you're gonna be good? Okay, I love you. So in it, what? Dad, 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 you have your rod? I do have my rod. She just said, Dad, you have your rod? I do, that's my musky rod. You like it? Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna talk to these guys about the musky rod. Oh. Do you wanna go watch the movie with your brother and sister? I'm You're gonna stay with me? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see how this goes. So anyways, you guys, what I was gonna say before this cute little stinker came in is if I was going to recommend one rod type, uh, length, heaviness, etc., and even a reel, um, I'm gonna give you guys my recommendation first and then I'm gonna show you what I have. So. What I would say for a rod is there are a lot of different lengths out there and some guys are probably thinking, what's the difference? Well, it is a pretty big difference. You gonna go watch the movie? What are you, oh goodness. Oh. You wanna? <laughs> this crowded office just got more crowded. Okay, you ready? <laughs> We're gonna try this again? Okay. It's okay if you touch it, it's okay. You won't hurt it. If it can't handle your toes, then it can't handle a 50-inch musky. When you see the toes on the couch. <laughs> oh my God. What are you doing? Oh, 
Oh, here we go. I don't even know what to do. Ooh. Sorry, you guys. I hope you're enjoying this. You're like, is he ever going to tell us the deal? Yes, I'm getting there. <laughs> All right. Third time's the charm. But if I were to tell you to get one setup, especially if you're new to the sport, a lot of guys question why there's so many different rod lengths, heaviness, does it even really matter? And yes, it does. With the shorter rods, if you're looking at a seven and a half foot to an eight foot rod, traditionally, you guys, that's going to be very limited to glide baits, walk the dog, top water type baits, lighter baits in general. And those rods are great. I've always had a seven and a half footer. I love throwing glide baits. If you know anything about me, I'm always throwing glide baits. And even with certain top water baits, I like to have a shorter rod. I'm only 5'10". I'm not exactly tall. So that rod length makes a difference for me. It has more to do with feel than anything. I like to feel everything my lure is doing when it comes to glide baits or even certain top, top water baits like walk the dog baits. But you get into an eight, six or longer, what has become the more common and traditional rod length. And it's crazy because 10 to 15 years ago, nine foot was considered extremely long. An eight, six was the longest rod in the market. And if you go back 20 years, I mean, anything over eight feet was hard to find, okay? So it's just funny how the sport has evolved and changed. But traditionally, most musky rod and reel setups, you're gonna find those combos are gonna be eight and a half feet, if not longer. A lot of guys now are throwing nine and a half to 10 foot rods, and that might shock you, but there's good reason for it. The longer the rod, the easier it is to cast, the easier it is to do better figure eights, okay? And even with, with casting heavier baits, the longer, heavier setups, it's a little bit easier to do it all day without getting too much fatigue and getting your butt kicked from casting big lures. So, I don't know what my daughter's doing right now. Are you trying to, <laughs> what are you doing? Are you trying to touch that with your toes? <laughs> okay, sorry you guys. Be careful, okay? I don't want you to fall off the couch. But, what I would recommend, if this is your first setup, or if you just want one setup that's versatile and can pretty much do it all, I would recommend an eight foot six extra heavy rod. Now, if you go down to a heavy, that's a little bit better for smaller bucktails, for smaller baits in general. But if you plan or intend on throwing some bigger baits like heavy rubber, like Medusas and Bulldogs, then you're gonna want that extra heavy for the backbone to be able to handle that so you're not breaking your rod and you can use it all day if that's the type of fishing you're gonna do. So if you're in the boat of, hey, I don't throw big rubber that often, I don't throw heavy baits that often, then you'd be totally fine going with an eight, six heavy, okay? So there's that information first before I show you what I actually have because I don't have an 8.6 right now but I would definitely recommend that and it will even save you a little bit of money once I show you what I use what I currently have for my primary musky setup if you go with a little bit shorter rod like an 8.6 it will save you a little bit of money so that's something to think about an 8.6 extra heavy will get the job done you can throw basically any musky bait on the market with that type of rod okay so there I said it now I'm going to show you a 9.3 but don't act like I didn't just tell you all that, okay? So my setup I have here, as you can see, I can't even willow kind of, my daughter jacked up my setup, so now this is gonna be awkward and there's gonna be no flow, I apologize. It's just like when I'm shore fishing for muskies, I only set up and stage everything before I even cast. I make sure my net is in a good position in case I have to run and chase a fish, I make sure it's in a calm pool of water, all of that. Shore fishing on the river for muskies is very fun and very entertaining, let me tell you. So I always position and stage everything so that it's ready to go and I have a plan and I have a system. I have plan A, B, C, and D if it gets crazy so that I can land this fish as quick and as safely as possible. I'll make a video on that another time. But first I wanna show you guys I have these rod sleeves. You can get them pretty much anywhere. I think I got this one at Cabela's for like nine or 10 bucks. Super cheap, great investment. If you're like me and you don't own a boat and you're a shore fisherman and you're constantly putting your rods in and out of your car, invest in some of these, put them on your rods. This way you won't break any rod tips or fray your line without knowing it. And it will cost you fish later and you're gonna regret it when it happens. So protect your rods, you know, protect your gear, makes it a lot easier for putting in and out of your car when you're fishing and traveling and whatnot. Also, another tip with that is take off the lures, you guys. Take off the lures before you put them in your car. Leave them out, let them air dry, do what you gotta do, but don't leave your lures on your rods when you put them in the car, because not only are you gonna get hooked into the sleeves here, into these rod covers, but you're gonna get hooked into other rods, you're gonna get hooked into your car, you might get hooked into people, okay? So just take your lures off. That's just another tip. This video is becoming like a multi-purpose video, I apologize. But 
Gonna take this rod cover off. They come in different sizes. This is obviously for a nine foot rod. I think they go down to like a seven foot, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty sweet deal. Okay, so what I have here, you guys, first I'm gonna talk about the rod, then I'm gonna talk about the reel, then I'm gonna talk about the line and even the leader on here. So yes, we are gonna talk about a musky rod and reel setup, a combo for under $500. We're gonna do it, and this setup here I have in my hands will cost you less than $500 close to even if you get almost the exact same setup okay all right this little girl doesn't want to leave she wants to stay here and hang out with daddy i love you thank you should we show them how we do i love you too <laughs> what do you say next love you three love you four love you seven love you nine She didn't do the whole deal. You just she gets way more excited. She's camera shy and she skipped number five, I think. But that's okay. You're so cute. We don't care. Anyways, starting with the rod, okay? So you guys, this is the EVX Musky Rod by Okuma. This is the nine foot three, so a little over nine feet. And I love this thing. I've only tested it out a little bit, but I immediately fell in love with this setup. And I will add that this is a telescopic rod. So this actually collapses down, which is a sweet feature, to about seven and a half feet. So I can pretty much fit it in any car with ease. That is a huge added bonus. I've never had a telescopic rod. This is my first one. And so far I like it, especially for traveling and packing. But this is the EVX 9.3 Okuma Musky Rod, okay? And this one is a little bit higher on the price scale if you go to their website, you'll see that this is the highest priced EVX musky rod on the Okuma website. But if you go back to what I said earlier, if you guys get this rod in the 8.6, and if you don't get telescopic, it's even cheaper. I saw these everywhere. You can see them on the Okuma website, which I'll have down below in the description. You guys can use my link to do all of your Okuma, Fish Lab, and Soft Steel shopping. I would appreciate it if you use that link. But when you go to the website, You'll see there's options and rod lengths and heaviness, etc. But if you even shop elsewhere, you guys, I'm trying to help you save money. So even <laughs> she wants her fishing rod. Your fishing rod's in the garage. We'll go look at it later, okay? Okay. But you guys don't have to go to the Okuma website. I would recommend it. A lot of options there. However, if you look around, I did some shopping around myself. I'm going to probably put some images up if I don't forget. But I found this rod except in the 8.6 model. I found it anywhere between $125 up to $150, okay? So we're gonna start there for a price point with this setup. Again, if you get this exact 9.3 telescopic, it's gonna go up to about $180, $190 if I'm not mistaken. But if you get the one I'm recommending, this same rod, but in the 8.6, you can get it from anywhere between $125 to $150. If you go with the shorter rod, you guys, if you go with like a seven and a half, you can get it for like $110, okay? So again, ask yourself how much musky fishing you're gonna be doing and what specifically do you want this rod to do? What do you want it to accomplish? If you're not super picky and if you're not gonna be using a bunch of different bait styles and presentations, maybe you can get away with the 7.6 if you're looking to save money, it that's fine. Me, where's Nemo? Nemo, our fishy? I think he's hiding behind dad's coffee. <laughs> <laughs> you're funny. We got a little fish tank in here with a fish they named Nemo. And I, we can't see him because my coffee mug's in front of it. Uh, but anyways, you can do that if you want to go with a seven and a half, but I wouldn't recommend it if you're only going to have one rod set up. If you want to throw it all, accomplish it all, if you want to be versatile with one setup, please go with an eight six. <laughs> okay, yeah, she's in here. Thanks, buddy. Um, I, I really wouldn't go less than an eight footer. And honestly, I'm cautious to even tell you to get an eight footer if it's only one setup. Like I said, I have a 9.3, I also have a 7.6, but that 7.6 has very specific purposes, okay? So there's the rod, EVX Musky Rod by Okuma, 8.6. You can get it for $150 or less, okay? I don't know what my daughter's doing, but we're just gonna keep moving, okay? So I'm gonna- Help me, Mom! Help me, Mom! <laughs> Be right back, you guys. Help me, Hang on. Mom! All right, you guys, Willow is upstairs having a snack with her siblings, so the rest of this video should go a little bit quicker. <laughs> All right, so that's the rod, you guys. Now I'm gonna show you guys the reel. Now this is the Komodo SS471P by Okuma. Love this reel, it's awesome. You could definitely get it if you want to. This reel costs $260, 
okay? However, I also have another Komodo SS, the 463. So this one here in the video is a 471P, and that P just stands for the power handle, which I like and prefer. But if you get one of the other models, like the 463 that I have, okay, that is still a great reel. It'll have the traditional double paddle handle, but that one's a little bit cheaper. This one is 260. I think that one is either 240 or 250, okay? But that's basically the price point on these reels, these Komodos. This is the high-end musky reel for Okuma reels, but you can get a Komodo SS, depending on the model, for anywhere between $240 to $260, okay? Now, the 471P that's here in the video will bring in more line per crank. I have to double check that. I'll put it up on the screen. I think it's like 37 inches of line per crank. The 463 still brings in like 33 inches. And again, I apologize. I should have looked that up before I, I public before I filmed this video. Um, but the, the 463 will still bring in a decent amount of line. It'll still get the job done. It's a great reel. If you're looking to save 10 to 20 bucks, go with the 463. But like I said, this is my favorite reel currently, and this is my primary musky rod and reel setup. That's why I showed this one in the video. I will be using this reel and this rod about 70 to 80 percent of the time this season. Okay, so $150 rod at the eight foot six model, and then $200. And $60 reel, we'll stick with this one, okay? So that puts us at just over $400, which leaves you almost $100 for the line and the leader, okay? So this line on here, you guys, is 80 pound braid, and this is actually soft steel, okay? You can get a spool like this at the soft steel website. And also, I'm gonna show you guys, I have a leader on here. Now, this leader was uh, given to me as a gift to test out, but this is by Pandemonium Tackle. There are plenty of options out there, you guys. Stealth Tackle, Steve Gold makes nice leaders, uh, Trophy Time leaders. My buddy Charlie Runyon makes leaders and sells them at an affordable price. What I wanted to show you though in this video is I actually ordered my own fluorocarbon, okay? Um, some guys use fluorocarbon except, uh, exclusively. Some guys don't use fluorocarbon. Some guys use wire, titanium. Again, that's another video for another time, but there are very specific reasons for using certain types of leader material. And honestly, you guys, there is risk even with fluorocarbon. The fear guys have with these is sometimes it can get nicked, cut on, on teeth from a fish or even on rocks and boulders if you're fishing rocky water. And I, I've actually seen it happen where even a 100 pound, 130 pound fluorocarbon leader will get frayed, cut, snap, break, okay? So it doesn't happen often, but it happens. A lot of guys I know have gone to titanium or wire leaders like this one, and I do like this one from Panamonium Tackle a lot. Probably gonna order more of those. But I'm just telling you guys, there's options. And again, you need to figure out what you want your gear to do. What are you trying to accomplish? What type of lures and presentations are you using? How do you want it to feel? What do you expect from what you're using, okay? And maybe you don't have a preference. Maybe you're new to the sport. It's kind of an experimentation phase. You need to try things out, test things out, and get more familiar with the options that are out there and then stick with whatever works, whatever you're confident with, okay? But I wanna show you this because I got 25 yards here of 100 pound fluorocarbon because I'm probably gonna start working on making my own leaders just to save money. But this spool of 25 yards of fluor fluorocarbon is pretty cheap, okay? But real quick, back to this line first, 80 pound braid, soft steel. Again, you guys, you talk to musky anglers out there, you're gonna hear a wide variety of pros and cons on every type of braid that's out there. Some guys are on the water more or less. That's going to affect not only what they've experienced with the line, but how they feel about it. So. Not telling you have to get soft steel. Some guys like Cortland, some guys like Suffix, some guys like Power Pro, some guys hate it. All I'm telling you is that you can find braided line like this, the soft steel brand here. If you go to their website, you can get 300 yards of 80 pound braid for $27, okay? So, so far with a $150 rod, and even if you go with the 471P the power handle, which I would highly recommend, I love this reel, but you go with the higher end reel, you're at $410 with 300 yards of soft steel braided line, 80 pound braid, you're gonna be up to about $440, okay, just under. So you still got about 60 bucks to play with. Now, leaders, okay, I showed you guys this soft steel fluorocarbon, which you can get and it's affordable. However, I know most of you guys, if you're new to the sport and if you just wanna go fishing, you're not looking to make your own leaders. I get it, I don't even make my own leaders still to this day. It's something I just wanna get into and I wanna start learning how to do. However, most guys out there, whether it's Pandemonium Tackle, uh, Trophy Time Leaders, my buddy Charlie Runyon, even if you go to you know Cabela's or a local bait shop and they have stealth leaders, 
There's so many options out there. Some are gonna be more durable and more dependable than others, okay? And obviously the cheaper ones are probably not the best way to go, but you can find these guys are often selling, no matter the company or the brand, they're usually selling two of these at a time, if not three, but it's under 15 bucks, okay? So if you're just getting started and you're trying to get a solid, versatile, musky rod and reel combo setup, okay? You can get the rod, the reel, the line, and even some of those leaders, and you can get all of that, you guys, for about $450, maybe a little bit more. Even if you include some shipping costs, taxes, etc., you guys, that's gonna put you right around $500, if not a little less. So there it is, you guys. I know this video is a little bit longer. I apologize. There's so much to say leading into it. Uh, information that matters. It's debatable. Guys are gonna say this. Guys are gonna say that on both extremes. I'm trying to be balanced and unbiased here. And again, I'm showing you what I literally have and what I use. You don't have to use this Okuma setup, rod, reel, etc. You can go and look out there, you guys, and you can find tons of options from different companies at similar price points. My goal was to show you, you can get a really nice musky combo for under $500 and you can get out there and fish, have a good time, and you won't have any regrets. You get something like this, maybe even a tad cheaper, it's gonna get the job done. Now, if you're gonna stay in the sport, if you're gonna be passionate about it, if you wanna get better, if you wanna get more versatile with your overall arsenal and, in, and you wanna add more rods and reels over the years, well, you're gonna have to keep spending a little bit of money but hopefully this video can show you that with each combo, each setup you're gonna get, if you're patient, if you shop hard, if you know what you want and what you need, you can find all of your musky rod setups at an affordable price. You won't have to break the bank, you won't have to be regretting it, you won't have to be hiding receipts, okay, from your significant other. This is a great setup, you guys. If you want something like this, click the link down below in the description. I would appreciate it. Everything I showed you, you can get at the Okuma Fishing USA website. Obviously, I will also put the link down below for Soft Steel USA. You can check them out if you're interested and get your line there. Even if maybe you wanna build your own leaders, you can do that as well. But that's it, you guys. Next installation of this musky fishing on a budget series. I just showed you, you can get a really nice musky setup, musky combo for under $500. Let me know what you think in the comments, you guys. We'll catch you on the next one. And like always, just keep casting.